Now let's look at how to format the key influencer visual to suit your needs for your reporting purposes. So when I click on the key influencer visual, I'm gonna go to the, the format pane here. So I'm gonna click on the format options and let's just work our way down here. Um, so first I'm gonna go to analysis. Um, right now, by default, when you create the key influencer visual, um, it will show you the key influencers and it will show you the top segments. So both are available and you can toggle them when you click on it. If you only want to show the key influencer and not the top segments, you can disable it from here. So I'm going <clears> to <throat> switch it off here and you'll see just the key influencer. Um, if you want it the other way, if you want to show this uh, enable segments. Um, so click on the enable segments if you want to show the segments. And then if you want to turn off the key influencer, we'll, you can turn it off here. So now you can only see the top segments. Next, uh, when I go to the key influencers, because we are working with the sales data, it is showing me increase or decrease. And as I sh said in my uh, previous videos, uh, when we are working with the uh, numerical data, uh, it will automatically identify it and it will turn it into continuous type. Now, assume you have some sort of a data that is uh, a scale, uh, let's say a, a scale of uh, maybe survey respondents that give you, um, the, that respond from you know one, two, three, four, or five. Now that is indeed a, a numerical uh, column uh, because it's a number but it would be incorrect to classify them as numbers. They, they are essentially categories because we cannot say um, a, a person cannot respond as 1.2. He can either select one or he can select two. So when you have a low cardinality uh, like that, it is better to go with, you can go to categorical. Now in this case, it does not make any sense uh, because if you look at it, it's just gonna uh, categorize everything um, and then turn it into a, a categorical. But if you had a column where you have fewer categories uh, within that number column, um, then you use a categorical as your analysis type and it will turn it into a categorical analysis. So let's go back to continuous. Now in this case, uh, if you are looking at, um, uh, when you are looking at uh, uh, the, the rank here, this is shown by uh, the impact it has. Um, so the product subcategory is uh, high up at the top, um, then followed by delivery truck, then the container, um, and so on and so forth. It doesn't tell you anything about the quantity or the count. So when I click on it, uh, yes, you can you get an idea that, yeah, a product copier and fax is number one, but it is 98. But if you look at the next one is 376. So which you don't get a sense for the quantity here. Um, so the way you can uh, look at that is to get a fuller picture of your data is go to your format options and then enable uh, the counts. So when I click on enables, notice you have these um, uh, like lines on uh, the circumference or the periphery of the, the circle. So if I zoom in a little bit here, much easier to see. There's one tiny dot over here. Um, product category has a much more line, a longer line over here. And what this is showing is length of that arc uh, on the periphery gives you an idea of how many rows are within that category. So product category when is technology has many more rows in it compared to the rest of the uh, the categories that are here and the, the reason for looking at it this way is because um, because typically when we are analyzing the data like this we tend to look at it from the percentages and tend to look at it okay which category uh, has higher count uh, when it comes to sales uh, on an average or when we compare the sale, average sales. What this is telling you is uh, when, when the enable count is turned on, it is giving you the impact 
um, as well as it's giving you the uh, the count. So it gives you a better idea about it. If you look at the bottom here, right now it is sorted by impact, but we can click on the count. When you do the count, the the category or the column with the highest count goes up at the top and then goes to the down. Now, right now we are not selecting by impact, but this is by count. So product subcategory, even though it has high count, it has smaller count. So it is um, way at the uh, bottom here. So two, one more option here. Um, right now it, it is harder to see. It doesn't give you a number. I wish it give you a number to say what this number is compared to this small number here. But uh, when I go to the format options again, and then right now it is set to absolute. If I click on relative, watch what happens to uh, this um, periphery over here. It becomes a full circle. So now everything is relative uh, to the full circle. So product subcategory is a full circle. And then um, as we go down, it is relative to that. So this is 100%. And then as we go down, uh, you see this. Now, somebody who is looking at this, your end user, um, they may not, uh, I think they may not understand whether this is based on uh, you know, relative count or this is based on absolute count. So I don't know how to distinguish between that. I, I wish Power BI team made that better or if they displayed the quantity as well um, along with uh, the impact. So that's one way to uh, do that. You can click on the revert to default to go back to the default. When we look at the analysis visual colors, it also lets you um, change your colors to match your overall uh, theme. So I can go to background color here and then change it to, let's say this color um, and then to change the, uh, the bubble colors, I can do this and change the options, and do that. <clears throat> so it, it, you, you, you know, you can, control the different visual elements within this a uh, lot better. Um, not a big fan of how they have made it font color and then secondary text color. Doesn't make any sense what I'm looking at. I don't know what is a secondary text color until I click on it. Um, so you'll have to just you know click on different things here and see what it changes and that gives you a good idea. The drill visual color, same thing. You right now, this is showing as a uh, the horizontal line is red in color. If you wanted to change it to something else, uh, you can click on it and it will change the colors. Um, the the text here that's shown for the average uh, average excluding selected. Uh, it's really really hard to see it. You cannot change the font color there, or you can move it to the side so it's much more visible and easier to understand. Um, so that's not really possible here, uh, but uh, that is um, an option too. So uh, you can just play with uh, the different uh, formatting options here. Rest of them are pretty standard uh, that are applicable to most of the uh, visuals in Power BI. 